This month's lesson goes out to the Bluegrass Homeschoolers math team. Asks a very simple question. What if X doesn't want to be found? It's a very simple question because the answer is easy. If X doesn't want to be found, X has got to get better at hiding. Seriously, X is right there. All right, now that we found X, let's get to work. One evening, Varun finishes reading a novel that probably was not longer than this problem. All right, he's been reading this novel for several days, and he found the ending so exciting that he immediately grabbed the sequel, starts reading that. Now, each novel has pages numbered in the usual way. They're consecutive page numbers. They start from one. Each novel has fewer than a 1,000 pages, and Varun reads a total of 42 pages in that one sitting. Now, the total sum of the page numbers that he reads while he's sitting there reading a book Adding up the page numbers while he's reading. That's awesome. The total sum is 2018. We have to figure out what is the page number of the last page of the first novel. Now, I have no idea anything about the last page number of the first novel, but I do know what the first page number of the next novel is. It's one. And then the next page number is two. And then the next is three. I'm going to start thinking about that second book because those numbers are easier to think about. I know they'll go one, two, three, four, five, and I know that there are less than 42 of them, because he's going to read 42 pages in that one sitting, and he read some in the first book. So let's see. He starts off in that second book. He reads page one, then he adds on page two, then page three, and he just keeps on going. He's adding up more pages, and he stops somewhere. I don't know where. It's less than 42. So he's added this up. Now, we can write an expression for this sum. We add up all these numbers, we get n times n plus 1 all over 2. And if you don't see why that's true, I want you to try something for me. Write this sum, write it backwards. Right underneath this one, write it backwards, and then add the two copies together and see what you get. Now, back to our story. This is the sum of the n pages that Varun reads in that second book. I know that n is less than 42. Let's try 41, see what happens. I can't think of anything better to do. Yeah, no, I can't think of anything better to do. So I'm just going to get in there and mess around. I could sit here and stare at the problem. I don't like just staring at things. Let's try something. We're going to try n equals 41, see what happens. Put 41 in here, put 41 in there. And the total sum of all the page numbers in that second book, we put 41 in here, we get... 41 times, well, 41 plus 1 is 42. Divide that by 2, it's 21. So 41 times 21, well, 40 times 21 gives me, let's see, that's 840. And then I get one more 21. That gives me a total of 861. Uh, if you read 41 pages in that second book, that means there's only one page back in the first book. You got a total of 861 from the pages in the second book, which means that one page in the other book is going to have to be more than 1,000. That's no good. We can't have that. Each novel has fewer than 1,000 pages. So he couldn't have read 41 pages in that second book. Let's try 40. All right. Now, I could take this n equals 40, stick it back in that formula, but I don't have to do that. I know that the sum of the numbers from 1 up to 41 is 861. If I just take that 41 at the end, I just take that away, well, now I have the sum of the numbers from 1 up to 40. I'm taking 41 away from this. That's going to leave me with 820. Now, what's going on in the first book? Well, from the second book, he had a total sum here of 820. On the first book, he's only got two pages that he read in the first book because he's read 40 in the second book. And they've got to add up to, well, let's see, got the difference between 820 and 2018. Well, what's that difference? That looks like 1198 to me. So first book. That sum must have been. 1198, because 820 plus 1198, that gives us the 2018. So those last two pages in that first book have to, uh-oh, 
add up to 1198. That's not going to work. Because those last two pages in the first book, one of them's even, the other one's odd. You add them up, you get an odd number. That number, not odd. All right, here we go. Let's try reading 39 pages in the second book. Well, now we go from here to 39. We're going to take off 40. Up here at n equals 40, this is the sum of the numbers from 1 to 40. You take the 40 away, you got the sum of the numbers from 1 to 39. So we take 40 away from that. That's going to give us 780, which leaves us 40 more to read in the first book. So we're tacking 40 on to that, which gets us up to 1,238. So he's reading 39 pages in the second book, leaves three pages in the first book. Is that going to work? No, that's not going to work either. So I got three numbers that are consecutive. When I add up those three numbers, I'm going to get a multiple of three. Because when I add those three numbers, I'm going to get three times the middle number. Because when I add those three numbers, I'm going to add this number, and I'm going to add a number that's one less, and a number that's one more. That one less and one more, they cancel each other out. I get three copies of that number in the middle. I get a multiple of three. But I add the digits of this, or I can just see, if I try to divide that by 3, well, I'm going to get 400 dividing the 1,200. I'm going to get another 10 dividing the 30, but that 8 can't divide that evenly by 3, not divisible by 3. He didn't read 39 pages in the second book. Let's try 38. So now, now we're taking a 39 away from the sum of the numbers from 1 to 39. So this is going to be 39 less. I don't actually care about that. I care about this thing over here, which is now going to be 39 more. I'm taking 39 away from the second book. They have to come from the first book. I add 39 over here. I got 1277. So now I'm trying to add up four consecutive numbers at the end of the first book to get 1277. Not going to work. It's not going to work because I look at those four consecutive numbers. Two of them are even. Two of them are odd. So when I add them all up, well, those two odds, add them up, it's going to get me an even number. So my sum is going to be even. 1277, not even. <sighs> no good. All right, one fewer page. We're going to go down to 37 pages, 37 pages in the second book. So now up here, when we had 38 pages, we had the sum 1 to 38. We're taking away that 38th page. We're taking away 38 from the second book. We got to get that 38 over in the first book. So in the first book now we need 1,315. And we've got five pages in the first book. Those page numbers need to add up to 1,315. And now I'm feeling better. Because if I'm adding five consecutive numbers, I'm going to get five times that middle number. Because when I add these five, I'm going to take my middle number right there, and I'm going to add one less and one more. The one less and the one more, they cancel each other out, and I get two more copies of that middle number. And I'm going to add two less and two more. The two less and two more, the minus two and plus two, they cancel each other out. That gives me two more copies of the middle number. It gives me five copies of the middle number. So the middle of these last five pages of the first book is this 1315 divided by five. So let's divide that by five. We get 263. So 263, that's the middle of the five pages. But we're asking here for the last page of the first novel. That middle of those last five pages is 263, so we go up to 264, and then to 265. So that last page of his first novel is 265. And we're finally ready for the next problem. Here we go. All right. Oh. The sequel's pretty long, too. Kevin writes a sequence of numbers, starting with one and repeatedly adding one until a multiple of two is reached. He then repeatedly adds two until a multiple of three is reached, and repeatedly adds three until he gets to a multiple of four. Oh, boy. So the first four terms, they tell us are one, two, four, six, and we have to figure out the last term that Kevin writes before he adds 2,000 for the first time. I can't see anything smart to do here. You know my favorite strategy, you probably heard me say it before, 
If you can't do something smart, do something stupid. Just get in there and do something. Play around. Maybe you'll see a pattern. Here we go. I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to be Kevin. I'm going to start adding numbers up. Do just what it says. I'm going to start with one, and we add ones until we get to a multiple of two. Well, he gets two right away. And we're going to add twos until we get to a multiple of three. We go to four, and we go to six. That's a multiple of three, so now it's time to add threes until we get to a multiple of four. We add a three, we get nine. We add another one, we get 12. Now it's time to add fours until we get a multiple of five. One, we get 16. We add another one, we get 20. That's a multiple of five. Let's check this out. I added two ones at the beginning. I added two twos, then two threes, then two fours. Wow, let's add a couple fives. We're at a multiple of five now. Five, and we add a second five. Yep, we get to multiple of six. What's going on here? You see any interesting patterns here? I see a really interesting pattern. In addition to this, we're adding two at each step. Look at the numbers in the middle. There's a one, started from zero, I go one. And then there's a four, there's a nine, there's a 16, there's a 25. I see squares. I bet this keeps on happening. Got a 30, yeah, the next one we're gonna be adding six, we're gonna get to 36. What's going on? Let's find out. Got this one here. Uh, one is just, we're counting by ones now, so we got one, one. Add on another one. Well, then we got two ones. Well, now we have a multiple of two, so now we have to add twos. Well, this two ones, it's also one, two. So I add on another two. I've got two twos. And I add on another two, and then I get three twos. Now I've got a multiple of three, so I have to add on threes. Well, there's three twos, it's also two threes. Add on another three, we got three threes. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. I add on another three, we've got four threes. And now we're adding on fours, because we got a multiple of four. This is three fours. Add on a four, we get four fours. Add another four, we get five fours. And then we add on fives, because we're up to a multiple of five here, we get five fives. We add on another one, we get six fives, and on and on, and now we see what's going on. We can see why each time we're adding on some number, we're only going to add two of that number before we get up to a multiple of the next number. And we can see the pattern right here. One, one, two ones. We got our two. Then two twos, then three twos. Now we're adding threes. Three threes, then four threes. Well, now we got to add four. So we're up to four fours and five fours, and on and on and on. And we can see why these, that middle step there in each one, always a perfect square. So we know that as we keep on going, we're eventually going to get up to 1999 times 1999. When we're there, we're adding 1999s. So we're going to add one more 1999 to this, and we're going to be up to 2000 1999s. Now we got a multiple of 2000. So now we have to add two thousands. We have one more two thousand to this. We get two thousand squared. But we want the number that Kevin writes down before he adds two thousand for the first time. This is the first time he's adding two thousand. So this is the number we want. Now I could go ahead and multiply this out. Not going to do that. I'm going to multiply that out because it's way easier. We like way easier. Two thousand squared. That's four million. Then we just take a step back by 2,000. That gets us to 3,998,000. Just like that, we're done. We didn't have to do anything super clever at all. We just dove in, found a pattern, figured out why the pattern is working, and we got the answer.